Scientists have been saying for years that the West Coast is due for a major earthquake. This past week, Carter Evans checked out an early warning system. It's called ShakeAlert, and it's to be used in Los Angeles. In an earthquake zone, every second counts. Early warning systems are already operational in Mexico and Japan. Prior to a massive 9.0 quake in 2011, people in Tokyo got a quake warning of more than 60 seconds. Now the Los Angeles rail system is literally on track with its own early warning program. All train operators are to stop your train at the next station and hold. When an alert sounds during this simulation at the Rail Operations Center, supervisors immediately bring all 83 trains in the system to a stop and then take cover themselves. In a real-world scenario, this all would have happened before the shaking began. Josh Bashiom is founder of Early Warning Labs, one of just a few companies approved by the U.S. government to send out advanced earthquake alerts. Today they got a 30-second warning. That doesn't seem like much time. It doesn't. It doesn't, right? But when it takes about 12 seconds to stop a commuter train or about 10 seconds to take an elevator to the closest floor or even just three seconds to get underneath a desk, you can save a lot of lives. During an earthquake, seismic waves radiate from the epicenter like waves on a pond. Currently, more than 700 sensors, most of them in Southern California, detect those waves, passing along data that can be used to predict when shaking will start in nearby cities. Okay, we now have 40 seconds before the shaking is expected to come in here to Pasadena. Seismologist Lucy Jones helped develop the early warning system for the U.S. Geological Survey. It still needs nearly a thousand more seismic sensors across the West, but that plan is now in jeopardy. If the president's budget is uh, passed by Congress, the program will be stopped because this is one of the things being eliminated. Jones and others hope it doesn't take a disaster to convince lawmakers to keep the program alive. Japan started their program after 5,000 people died in Kobe. Mexico started their program after 10,000 people died in Mexico City. We are trying to be the first country to do it without killing the people first. Now, we're at a state-of-the-art earthquake simulator here. If the budget is cut, that means large parts of California, Oregon, and Washington, where sensors still need to be installed, will not get an early warning. The ultimate goal is to get that alert out to everyone's cell phone before the quake starts. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.